the last video, we were trying out the stick shift wagon for the first time in Isom, Kentucky. A couple weeks later, we head over to Coburn, Virginia for a private race before the track's grand opening. Right before the race, though, the car breaks a rocker stud as we was loading it up. We check it all out, and at first everything seemed to be fine, so we tossed another stud in it and entered the race. For the first round, we ended up pairing with our good friend Michael McCoy and his nitrous notch. getting drugged down Twin River Raceway by Michael McCoy, we decided to make some more test hits and learn the car. Well, we broke another rocker stud. This time it's on a different cylinder. So it kind of had us puzzled what was going on. But we just load the car up and come home. And I had to leave the car in a trailer for a few days. I just didn't have time with work full with it. And we had, after the weekend of Coburn, English Mountain. We was hosting our own race down there. And I really wanted to see this car go because we have a great stick class. These usually like 15 cars come and they're all real tight. And that's, that's good racing for this area. It's just, uh, just a good time. So I wanted to be a part of it, and the night before we had to leave for English Mountain, I just finally decided, like, we're going to make this thing go. So we roll it out in my driveway instead of bringing it out here in town to, to the shop. And it's dark, and then it starts raining. So we toss us up a tent, get a lamp from inside the house, and hook it up to a generator, and then the battery starts dying, so we pulled the G8 around and hooked some jumper cables to it, so we had a really... It really set up going on. I bet the neighbors were like, what the hell are they doing over there? <laughs> but we got lucky. Um, we pulled the valve covers off and we had two or three bad rockers. Uh, so we pulled the 17s off of it, jerked some 1.6 crane rockers off of that, it's 351 Ranger, and it fixes the problem. I guess those rockers, they was new, but I don't know, maybe I got some bad ones, but oh well. Car sounds good, doing good. So we load it up and head for English Mountain. And I'll just go ahead and cut the chase. We didn't film any. Uh, I was so busy hosting the race, and Mary, she was busy on, on the end calling races who won. So we definitely didn't have enough hands for that. But we ended up making it to the semis against uh, Jerry Turner. He's got a nitrous uh, S197 Coyote Mustang. And the car runs real good, uh, probably mid six second car. So I knew I had to uh, get out on the guy. 
So I got anxious and I, I jumped a lot just a little bit and I lost. So, you know, it done pretty good all night. Uh, we started learning some things. Uh, started actually spraying it. We get back from COVID and we learned we had a bad throttle pedal again. I thought that was a big block last year. So we throw a new throttle pedal in it, new cable, uh, start adjusting the time and see what it likes and start fix little things here and there. And you can tell the car starting to run better. So we just prepare for ISOM. Uh, the following weekend, ISOM was having another cash day, so we load it up and head for that. It's a little hard to tell in the video, but the car was breaking up on nitrous pretty good. I guess you can see the flames under it on top end. But we went back and we realized we had a fuel pressure problem. We got that fixed, uh, pulled the plugs out and it burnt fuel up. So we put a new set in it. Went back for round two against David Baker and his nitrous two valve Mustang. Well, like I've been saying, I'm surprised it stayed together this long. 
because it was rusty to hell. I'm afraid to put a better one in it because it was my boy. Throw out there and somebody's here too. Look at it a minute. Nailed it. Got the motor. Yeah. That's what I'm saying because it had to turn every bit of it. Yeah, it's way up there, man. It's singing. I'll fire it up. It, it could have very well been a throw out there in a car. Oh, it's about five of us. We got my tractor out. That don't sound good. No, I think it hurt the motor for sure. Yeah. Oh, bitch. clutch on it the shift light comes on I'm thinking damn this thing's spinning pretty bad so I short shift in a second hoping it bogged out and it didn't it was still spinning I go for a third gear and I don't know if I missed it or locked it out or what but it just went whack like it nine grand I mean it, it's some so that floated the valves and sure enough we get it home and turn into it, it being eight exhaust valves and smoke the clutch. Um, you know, I guess that's part of it when you put a used $80 clutch in it from AutoZone, but, <laughs> and I didn't have the right electronics. That really bit me in the ass right there. I, I had a MSD uh, box on it and everything, but it burned up. So we just welded up HEI to make ice on and just make it happen. Well, that bites me again. Uh, we let the car sit around for a few months. I just kind of got out of it, didn't want to fool with it. We started racing Dad's white Mustang, and right before December, uh, 3rd and 4th, dig or die, my buddies called me up and were like, let's go, you know, get that thing together. So two or three days, literally before dig or die, we got the motor out of it. We tossed valves in it. We're putting it back together, slamming it back together, and we make it. But I didn't put a box on it again. I should have known. And I'll go ahead and tell you, I didn't have anybody filming with me until Saturday, so our class is on Friday. And the only video I have of my past was with Spooled Media. And you'll see that. Appreciate it, Corey. Um, I draw the Turbo Corvette. Dude's real cool. We talk. He's a nice fella. Uh, we get up there to our burnouts, pull up the line, and he jumps, like right before. So I didn't have, really have to do nothing too crazy, but I want to see what the road would take. So I'm about 4,500, drop a clutch, it's spinning. I grab second gear, it's spinning like hell. I go into third and grab the button, and it starts to bite. I got it on a progressor, and it comes in and starts spinning again a little bit. So I go to grab fourth, and Got it about 550 foot out or something like that. Bent the valves again. Same shit. I should know better. But we stayed for Saturday and got some footage of small tire because the buddy Steven was in it and you'll see that. We at least got that for you. 
but to clear everything up next year, I'm really gonna be more serious about this car and our other cars as well. I'm gonna make sure it's got the right electronics on it. I'm on a mini tow it. We've got 26 by eight and a half on it, and I just ain't gonna do. We're gonna put 2810.5 on it, and just be ready from now on. Like take your time, prepare. Instead of just going having fun, I want to be competitive. I want to have a good time as well, but I want to win. I guess everybody does, but um, long term for this car, I'm building a four valve with a F1 on it with a T56 Magnum behind it. That's uh, that's going to be a long term setup. I got most of it, but there's a lot of stuff I'll still need. But the next few videos of this car, you'll see us putting it back together, fixing it, preparing, and hopefully busting some ass. So, here's what we got from Digger Die. I appreciate y'all watching and be looking for future videos of the old wagon. We're down here at Rockingham. The weather is beautiful. It's the last one of the year. It's December 3rd. It's 75 degrees down here. I need to move here. Right here. Yeah. For real. It's cold as hell, guys. But um, we didn't get to film much. Mary had to work, and I was pretty much by myself. Last night we run stick shift. First round, I won, but I broke like 500 foot out. Same problem. Been exhaust valves again. Uh, there's no compression, so I'm pretty much positive that's what it is. However, Chris Cook, everybody, won. Won it all. He got it all. He's doing great. Um, today, uh, Stephen Johnson and his dad's here, Rick, they're trying to run small tire. Uh, we're going to try to stay here and support them, see how they do, and give you all a little bit more video since we didn't get to film. But, here we go. <laughs>